So when I was approached by Banggood to review these earbuds, I thought that I would give these earbuds a try to see what Blitzwolf's answer is to the multi-driver earbud scene. So there are limitations with single earbuds of course because there's just so much you can tune in earbuds on how they can sound. Sometimes it's also not about putting in more drivers to solve the problem, but to have each driver properly tuned to produce the sound signature that you want. And I think that Blitzwood definitely nailed it this time. So today's earbuds were sent over to me by Banggood for review and for those who do not know, Banggood is a large e-commerce site that sells many tech products including this Blitzwolf earbuds. So definitely check them out if you're interested in buying them. So these earbuds retails for about 40 US dollars and that's about 170 Malaysia Ringgit, slightly higher in price for a Blitzwolf but I think the sound quality here totally justifies it. So let's take a look. So at first look, you're not going to think that this Blitzwolf earbuds is anything special since it doesn't really look all too fancy, uh, doesn't have any flashy case, and I can tell you, honestly, sometimes looks can be deceiving. So the case here is a simple plastic case, shape and size is very similar to a wedding ring box and the overall case is very clean with no text all around it so if you look around everything is plain except for a Blitzwolf branding at the top here and it's also in a super stealthy font which I absolutely love. So the case is made of this rubberized texture and look but when you touch it it's actually smooth to the touch and it's not those rubbery finish that will you know peel or get sticky over time so that's very nice as well and it does add a premium look to it and it doesn't really scratch that easily so that's one plus point here so at the back of the case you're gonna get the usual type c charging port and plugging it in lights up the led indicator at the front of the case and when it's charging it starts to blink in red and the red light will stop blinking when it completes its charge but the build quality here isn't all too top notch if you ask me and certain areas such as the sliding lid doesn't feel very smooth and you can feel there's some roughness and resistance to it and you can feel that it doesn't stay firm and still like how more expensive brands like Soundcore the sliding lid but for something at this budget price point I wouldn't fault it too much. So the earbuds inside looks very unique but also generic at the same time. Somehow it doesn't quite give that wow factor. Uh, you're going to get a small chrome finish around the earbuds on the touch sensor surface that trickles down the stem and an LED indicator at the side here that fortunately goes away when connected because it's actually quite bright. And flipping the earbuds around is where you will see the multi-drivers inside hidden behind a very smoked black plastic shell. And you can see that there are actually three drivers inside uh, with different shapes. Uh, some of them have holes, some of them are rounded units. Not sure exactly which does what, uh, but I think that these would be nicer if the plastic wasn't so tinted so you can actually see what's going on inside. But overall, I think that these drivers definitely make quite a good sounding earbuds here. So battery life here is nothing too fancy and it's frankly really low for 2022 coming in at only 3 hours of playback time with 12 additional hours of juice from the case. Charging the earbuds up takes about 2 hours so it's really not the fastest charging or longest lasting earbuds in the market. But one thing I learned over the years is that sometimes having long battery life is a plus point but for some people who doesn't really use earbuds all too long like for example if they use it for 2 hours at a time, 3 hours at a time, these type of earbuds would fit them uh, because some people just cannot have an earbuds in your ears for so many hours it's just uncomfortable so there's some justification there but I still think that having a long battery life is like having some buffer so for my listening pleasure I think that these earbuds are pretty loud and for me a comfortable listening volume is somewhere around 40% mark but the volume increased quite quickly and around 60% it's already quite loud and I cannot push it past 70% honestly because it's really quite loud. So these earbuds definitely suit people who enjoy listening to their music loud. So features here are also mediocre at best, but from previous experience, we know that having the latest chipset sometimes doesn't really mean having good sound quality or good performance. So it really depends on what 
the earbuds are made to do. The Blitz Wolf come with the humble Bluetooth 5.0 that supports AAC and SBC codec. So you're getting pretty basic tech here and no modern 5.2 chipsets and no aptX codec as well. So these earbuds comes with an IPX5 water resistant rating. So it's good for sweat protection, uh, protecting users from light rain. But apart from submerging it into water, I think it pretty much should survive any water action. So the earbud supports independent playback. However, it doesn't feel very seamless and takes about two seconds to reconnect uh, once you put it back and take it out from the case. Uh, we can still use the earbuds individually, so it's great to use them, especially before going to bed or lying down on your side. Lastly, there is no multi-point connectivity on these earbuds. So sound signature of the BWFY E15 is my absolute favorite features of these earbuds. And I personally think that these are wonderfully tuned to be honest, and each driver inside does what they set out to do. And you can hear the separation of each different frequencies. So bass here is powerful, but tends to focus a little bit more on the mid bass. There is a hint of sub bass for certain songs, but a more prominent bass note here definitely is the mid bass. So vocals here sound very tidy and clean with no hint of them being recessed for both male and female vocals, and they are both reproduced properly. However, I do hope that male vocals can be a little bit more stronger, but overall, I think that these are nice sounding earbuds for vocals. Finally, Heist is also the star of the show here and gives you a very satisfyingly bright sound signature that I really love. And I like my music bright, but not to the point that it's sounding ear piercing or annoying. And Blitzwolf manages it really well. So overall, if you're buying these earbuds for good sound quality and nothing else, then you won't be disappointed. So this is a test to see if the Blitzwolf BWFY E15 is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down the list. So I guess no earbuds can be perfect and although the Blitzwolf sounds good, it's nowhere perfect and latency is one department that sees some delay and lag, especially when playing games like PUBG, they just don't sync up to give you an advantage over your competition, it doesn't really sound that good as well. Uh, but fortunately, using them for videos and movies is still pretty nice. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So the control scheme here is also not that complete and some controls are a little odd as well. So for example, to play your pause media, you have to tap and hold for one second for it to play a pause. So tap and hold one second and it'll play a pause. Not the most intuitive, usually people just put a single or double tap. So that's very weird. But to pick up phone calls, you still tap once on either side of the earbuds. And to skip tracks forward, tap three times on the right earbud. So tap three times, one, two, three. Skip forward, one, two, three and you'll skip backwards. To call your assistant, double tap on either side of the earbud, so one, two, and you should pause the media and pull out your assistant. So, and that's basically all the controls you get with these earbuds. So these earbuds are definitely not perfect, but at least where they are imperfect, it more than makes up for it in terms of sound quality. So I would say if you can get a discount on these earbuds, then definitely consider them because for its retail price, I think they might be a little bit too steep or expensive for my liking. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash the thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.